The Warrior football team returned yesterday from a 12-day road trip and with two wins in their back pocket. Unfortunately, they also returned with a bruised-up Colt Brennan, but as Coach June Jones say, shouldn't be a problem. Um, I would think that he'll probably be, you know, better by Tuesday uh, afternoon and then maybe Wednesday he might practice in the morning. Uh, but if he isn't in practice Thursday and Friday, he'll be all right. I think he needs to rest up, but his ankle needs to rest up. Uh, so he'll probably make sure he's okay. But it also is an opportunity to, uh, I think Tyler can play. And, you know, if he, if he plays more this week, that'd be good for him. Some good news for the Hawaii defense. Linebacker Solomon Elamimian was named the WAC Defensive Player of the Week. Elamimian racked up 14 tackles against UNLV, including seven unassisted stops. Good news also for the eight. The UH Warriors have a lot to celebrate tonight after winning 49-14 last Saturday against the Rebels in Las Vegas. One of their players has been named the Western Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Week. Hawaii linebacker, linebacker Solomon Elamimian, a junior from Los Angeles, led the Warriors with a career-high 14 tackles in Hawaii's win at UNLV. He had one and a half tackles for a loss in helping to hold the Rebels scoreless for a stretch of more than 48 minutes during the game. Hawaii is in second in the WAC and 34th in the nation in total defense, allowing just 313.7 yards per game. And the Warrior football team back home after a successful 12-day road trip, two games, two wins, five spots. That's how much Hawaii jumped in the latest AP Top 25 poll. Hawaii from 24th to 19th. It is the highest the team's been ranked since they were 18th back in 1981. And Warriors also moving up in the coaches poll. They jumped four spots from 22 to 18. That's the highest ever in school history, all thanks to Saturday night's 49 to 14 victory over UNLV. And this Saturday, the UH football team returns to the friendly confines of Aloha Stadium after winning two on the road. KHNL News 8's Roger Mari spoke to some football fans who are loving the 3 0 start. There's still plenty of football to be played, but this year's squad looks poised to make it a perfect season. I think it's a real thing. I think we're going to go pretty far. But uh, whew, we, had, we had to hold our little tushy a little while for the other week. At a perfect 3-0, fans appreciate what the Warriors are doing for their school and the state. I'm actually really proud of them. They're working so hard to do their best to slowly move up in the rankings. So... They're also looking forward to seeing the Warriors at home after a long road trip. I was impressed with how well they did on the road. Nobody, that's not an easy job to go out there for that many days and go through that many time zones and still come out with wins. After escaping with a one-point victory at Louisiana Tech, Heisman hopeful Colt Brennan knows that none of their remaining opponents can be underestimated. If I look at last year's team, the 11-3 and three season as a letdown. We should have been 18 points away from being undefeated. We don't want to let that happen this year. We want to take full advantage of everything and we have a tremendous amount of confidence and basically it's one week at a time. Now we're going to fo focus on Charleston Southern, but if we keep that mentality and don't get too arrogant, we can't run the table. In Manoa, Roger Mari, KHNL News 8. Oh, a lot of us very wild with their performance <laughs> over the weekend and hopefully it'll keep on continuing. Exactly. Yeah, well this Saturday the Warriors face off with Charleston Southern University at the Aloha Stadium. Thank you so much. Doing everybody? Let's talk sports. An ankle sprain that UH Warrior quarterback Cole Brennan suffered in a walkthrough the day prior to the UNLV game could keep him out of several practices this week. Brennan played through the discomfort of the injury against the Rebels, throwing for 298 yards and two touchdowns. He also ran for three scores. After the game, however, there were reports that Brennan's ankle was badly bruised and swollen. His coach says that he expects Colt will be all right for this week's game against Charleston Southern, but he'll still treat the injury cautiously. I'll see how uh, Colt's uh, ankle is. You know, without him practicing, you know, a lot this week, uh, my thought would be he needs to stay on top of his game, you know, so, but if he's hurting, you know, uh, uh, I might even play Tyler uh, earlier, you know, too, if he's, if he's hurt, uh, but, it, you know, Colt gives us the best chance to win the game, that's what we're trying to do. I would think that he'll probably be, you know, better by Tuesday. Uh, afternoon and then maybe Wednesday he might practice you know in the morning uh, but if he isn't he can practice Thursday and Friday we'll be all right his ankle needs to rest up but I'm not concerned about him playing 
Coach, of course, referencing backup quarterback Tyler Gronke. In other Warrior news, middle linebacker Solomon Elamimian was acknowledged by the WAC as the Defensive Player of the Week. Elamimian had a career game against UNLV, recording 14 tackles, seven of which solo. The Warrior D held the Rebels scoreless for a stretch of more than 48 minutes in the 49-14 Hawaii win. Elamimian enjoys being the man in the middle at the linebacker position, no doubt. That's where all the plays at, you know, middle, you know, sometimes it runs to the right or sometimes it runs to the left, but if you play middle, you know, you can always get there, you know, so I'm just so blessed to be playing in the, in, um, in the middle in the, in the scheme that we have here. You know, it's more comfortable, you know, having four down linemen in front of you, to, you know, um, to, I guess, get your back, watch your back. So it's, it's easier playing in 4-3, playing middle linebacker, and our defense line is, is so talented. The Warriors, now ranked 19th in the AP poll and 18th in the coaches poll, host Charleston Southern, a Division I AA team. That's this Saturday at 6.05 p.m. Injury up. Did you expect them to be a little, a little bit better, or were you guys that good? Um, well, we expect them to play tough, and they did play tough, you know, the first quarter. You know, the first drive, they played us really tough, you know. But we're just so confident in our skills, and, you know, we went to the game with a clear focus, you know and not talking about getting home to Hawaii because, you know, we was gone for so long. So we knew what we had to do, and um, we just executed a um, game plan to the best that we could. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. That's Warriors linebacker Solomon Elamimian, named WAC Defensive Player of the Week today for his 14-tackle performance in Hawaii's 49-14 road win against UNLV on Saturday. Uh, he was everywhere uh, in the game. He, he, he made a lot of plays. He's just flying around to the ball. Counting his effort against the Rebels, Elamimian now leads UH with 33 tackles in three games. Remember, he switched from outside linebacker last season to the middleman. The middle linebacker is the man on defense, isn't he? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, that's where all the plays are at, you know, middle. You know, sometimes it runs to the right or sometimes it runs to the left. But if you play middle, you know, you can always get there. You know, so I'm just so blessed to be playing in the, in, um, in the middle of the, in the scheme that we have here. You figured there'd be some adjustment moving from the outside to the middle. Is that adjustment period over now? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, I've always played middle all my life, you know. Um, even when we ran a 3-4, it was, I did play middle, too, with Adam. But, um, you know, it's more comfortable, you know, having four down linemen in front of you, to, you know, um, to, I guess, get your back, watch your back. So it's, it's easier playing in 4-3. UH football team second in the WAC, 34th in the country in total defense, giving up 313.7 yards per game. Now, Warriors back home this week, hosting Charleston Southern, its second Division I AA opponent of the season. Now, we're treating it just like it's Appalachian State going to play Michigan. Well, still a concern for UH is quarterback Colt Brennan's ankle injury. Coach says he'll probably keep him out of practice till Thursday, expects him to play on Saturday.